According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, halitosis, also known as bad breath, fertor exoria or oral malodor, is such a common problem that 50% of the general population have it. That's a lot of bad breath, right? Halitosis is the general medical name for bad breath, a smelly odor emitting from the mouth. In this video, I'll talk about how to recognize if you have it and what can you do to prevent it. Do you have halitosis? There are several ways to recognize if you have halitosis. For example, one symptom is non-pleasant metallic taste in your mouth. If you have this, it is likely you have some degree of bad breath. Your friends and loved ones may actually give you a gentle hint or tell you that your breath smells. And perhaps sometimes you may notice that people stand back when talking to you. The worst case scenario is that people experience your bad breath but don't say anything. This means you don't realize it and they just go away with a rather unpleasant impression of you. But before I tell you the easiest way to stop that happening, we first need to look at the reasons why we are prone to bad breath. Let's start with what causes halitosis. Most cases of halitosis originate in the mouth and can be attributed to cavities, gum disease and of course and in the first place a poor dental hygiene routine. Other major factors are our lifestyle choices like smoking, drinking alcohol, a diet of high meat content and sugary, smelly or spicy foods. Gastrointestinal, respiratory or metabolic disease can also cause a small percentage of cases. So let's get to the point. How to get rid of halitosis? Assuming a medical condition is not causing your halitosis, which is rare, the easiest and best way to cure it is to have a better oral hygiene routine. Basically, you need to brush your teeth properly, clean the bacteria off of your tongue and remove the food particles and plaque buildup between your teeth every day. Sounds easy, right? Sure, you can buy a whole host of temporary cures for halitosis that halitosis that mask the problem over a short period but if you want to avoid having too frantically sh shove mints or chewing gum into your mouth before you talk to anyone here's how you can prevent the problem use interdental brushes instead of floss we now know that interdental brushes are much better at cleaning the spaces between your teeth compared with flossing. Using the brushes to remove the food particles and plaque buildup between your teeth is important to do every day. Left to linger, they can result in more serious oral health issues such as gum disease, tooth decay, periodontal disease and cavities. Use an interdental brush once a day in the evening. Scrape the bacteria off your tongue. 60 to 80 percent of your mouse bacteria are found on your tongue. The best way to clean your tongue and remove the bacteria is to use a tongue scraper once in the morning and once in the evening before brushing. Scrape the white stuff from the back of the tongue towards the tip. Make sure you make it always in a gentle way. Then of course brush for two minutes. It's important not to brush the teeth too hard or for too long. Instead it's more important to Try and concentrate on each tooth individually. Brush teeth for two minutes with a medium intensity once in the morning and once in the evening. And of course finish your evening routine with mouthwash. The final part of your daily oral care routine should be to swill mouthwash for 60 seconds. Sure is, with this halitosis zapping routine you'll prevent the embarrassing problem of bad breath rather than masking it temporarily. And as it affects the majority of our social interactions and intimate relationships, the persistence will seriously pay off. So if you'd like to have the four simple steps of the perfect daily dental routine at a glance, please make sure you download my free cheat sheet below. It will make your daily dental routine so much easier. And never forget, you are not alone with this. I'll be there every step of the way to make your mouth healthy. Just drop me a line and I answer as app. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.